this is uh, what we bought, the hemp fiber grow mats from Terra Fiber. It is a company in Drayton Valley, Alberta, so it's great because we're supporting Canadian businesses. And it is biodegradable and compostable, which is fabulous. And as you can see by that picture, that's what we want to see when we pull our tray, uh, our mat out of the tray after it's done and we're ready to harvest. So it's the first time using them. We just bought the little ones, like I say, a little later on. And we'll see what happens. Hi there. So the mats come with this handy dandy little card. Uh, they talk about in number one, pre-soaking the seeds. I always pre-soak my seeds. I rinse them off um, and rinse them a couple of times and then soak them overnight. And I've had some really good luck so far with that. Um, they uh, told us to put the mats in there and then sprinkle the seeds on there and then add the water. I didn't do that as you'll see in the coming videos. I soaked the mats and then added the pre-soaked seeds. Then they tell you to stack the trays or put on the humidity dome. Um, I have seen a lot of people that stack the trays and put some weight in there saying that that it, it made the, the sprouts get stronger because they had to push this up. But I've never done that. I've just put the humidity dome on. And then to do the keep in darkness, I just put a towel over top and keep it in dark for the first four days. Right now I'm going sunflower sprouts. So, I mean, you still check it every day because you're going to obviously mist every day. Make sure it stays wet so that your germination happens. So now number four, um, you're going to not have the cover or the darkness anymore. So I take off the towel and it sits in the corner where the rest of my plants grow and there's lots of grow light so that they get hydroponic grow light roughly anywhere from 10 to 16 hours a day. And once they reach a certain level, um, you want to make sure that they're growing really well. And then you take the dome lid off and just let them continue to grow until the true leaf, the first true leaf comes out. So again, you're going to keep your grow mat saturated. Make sure you're spraying once or twice a day. Then when you're ready to harvest, it is so awesome because you just pick that mat up and you know put it on top of something and you can just with your scissors it's just no fuss no must just boop then you take that left behind and compost it. Okay. Hopefully I'm not gonna knock over the camera. So we've measured our sunflower seeds it's a half a cup and I was watching a video the other day and they actually said don't just soak them but rinse them and make sure that there's no you know if there's any dust on them or anything so, that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Probably a plastic colander might have been a better idea. But that's okay. the odd seed that's not a big worry okay so I'm just gonna fill that up and let them soak overnight and then we will put them in the tray with the new juice soaked our seeds overnight and now we're going to try a new way of using jute mats 
or hemp mats, sorry. So I just bought the package that had five by five squares, even though I need actually more like an eight and a half by 11, uh, because I didn't want to spend a lot of money until I find out whether or not we like doing it this way. So if we do, then we're probably gonna buy a roll that we can cut to fit. So now I'm just going to add water. You wanna soak, soak these jute mats, hemp mats. I don't know why I keep calling them jute. You wanna make sure they're soaked really good. see that. So I'm just going to wait a second while they absorb all the water. You don't want the seeds submerged or anything, but you do want them to have a nice wet. So I would say that, you know, once it's all looking wet and nobody looks like there's any dry spots. I just keep pressing down on it. Okay. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread the seeds evenly over the top. And this time I did a half a cup. Um, and I'm just doing sunflower seeds. I thought we'll try one thing at a time. So we're just going to, sorry for that little blip. out here. <laughs> Come on. Okay, close enough. So again, we want to spread them all out. I think that was not on the mat. And the thing is, you don't want anybody sitting on top of each other, right? You want everyone to, like I've said before, kind of have their own little plot of land. So push them around so that they're all over the place. So they're not, you know, sitting there soaking in water. They are um, definitely wet. The mat is definitely wet. I'm going to finish doing this, but I don't think you need to sit here and watch me painstakingly push all of these guys around. So when I'm finished doing that, what I'm going to do is put the dome on and then cover the dome with the cloth because uh, you're supposed to let them germinate in the dark. Um, the dome helps to make more of a greenhouse effect. I keep it over here in the corner where we have all the grow lights going because there's a fair amount of heat happening and uh, it's just a happy little gardening corner. And we will wait the four days and they should be germinated by then and that's when we will you know, take the
cover off so that they can start growing with the dome still on and um, keeping that greenhouse effect. So we will check back in, take pictures over the next little while. And when there's something more to report, we shall. So this is what it looked like after I got finished. And as you can see, um, I tried to spread them out as evenly as possible so that nobody's sitting on top of each other. That hopefully will mean that all our roots will just go right into the, the hemp mat, the grow medium, and create that you know beautiful, thick, lush bed of root underneath. And then it's easy peasy, just pick that up when everything's grown and harvest it. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. I'll keep you posted with uh, more videos as we go on the journey. Have a wonderful day. want to give you a heads up where we're at with this on day eight as you can see everybody is um, as they grow and their leaves unfurl they're dropping their their uh, seed shell and what we're looking for and I will show you a picture in the video is what we call the true leaf so these are the two leaves that come out when they germinate and they start to grow but then as you know if you've sprouted you know a lot of seeds whether they're just for sprouts or the garden when they get to the point where they turn into the plant that they're going to be um, other leaves come out in the center there and that's what's called the true leaf because when you start to see that leaf you actually see what something's going to become um, like the leaf that becomes with that so like when I grow the celery, they just look, you know, like two little, two little leaves like that. But then the next leaves that come out look like celery leaves or look like parsley leaves. So before you start to harvest, that's, that's what I've been told is that we want to look for the true leaf. Now, one thing I did have to do this morning, these guys were kind of, this whole little section had kind of like, <laughs> So that told me that my mat had gotten dry. Even though I was spritzing every day, um, I guess I wasn't getting enough water underneath. As you know, we germinated in the dark for four days. Then once they germinated and started to grow, we kept the dome on, the plastic dome, but we um, didn't keep them in the dark anymore. Then it was time as they started to get higher to even take the dome off. So because it was exposed to more air and the dome wasn't keeping it as moist inside, that's why I think that happened. So you wanna just make sure, and all I did was I just took some water and a little watering can and put water in. And I did it on both ends and you can see that there's a little bit there, but not much because that mat has now absorbed the amount. Okay, so here you can see the two little tiny leaves in between the bigger leaves. Those are the true leaf. That's what you're looking for when you harvest.